Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today's video, the best possible way to use a breeder box. That's right folks, I'm going to teach you my favorite way to use a breeder box. Watch you guys go ahead and grab yourself a snack and a beverage and stand by. Welcome back fishy folks. Today's video, like I said, how to best use a breeder box for breeding guppies. Now, this method will work for pretty much any library, at least all the common ones. You got your guppies, of course, and your endlers, which are just small guppies, basically. Then your mollies and your sore tails, and you got your platies. This method will work for all of those libraries. Now, uh, what I have here is a marina hang on back large breeder box. And I bought this over a year ago, actually. Uh, and my plan was to do a do-it-yourself, a DIY, if you will, uh, hang on back filter. I was gonna use this, put media in there, I don't know, maybe add a pump, I don't know. I don't know what I was gonna do, I was gonna try to figure it out, make a video, and be done with it. About three or four days after I bought this thing, I saw a video from another YouTuber reviewing it and using it as a, as a filter. And I, I don't even remember who it was, to be honest. You could probably Google it. So, it's been in my fish room ever since. I don't know, about four or five months ago maybe, I had some angel eggs hatch upstairs and my wife was like, please, please save them, please, let's raise them. Okay. Of course I was going on a business trip so I didn't know what to do. I set up the breeder box, it was really cool and uh, the wigglers went to free swimmers and about a day after they were free swimmers, I don't know what happened but they all disappeared. So I suck at breeder boxes. Which leads me to my preferred method for using a breeder box. We have this really nice marina breeder box. Throw it away. I don't use breeder boxes at all. Uh, I think they're stupid. I don't think you really need them. And I think it stresses out the fish way too much. I community breed. And what that means is, in this tank here, it's my green cobra breeding tank, you can see there's about a third of the tank filled with java moss and the rest is water for them to free swim in. I don't separate the females or the fry. I let everything happen naturally in the tank. So much less stress for the mother, and I have great results doing this. The trick is plenty of places for the guppies to hide. So if we take a look at this tank, like I said, you can see the bottom third of the tank pretty much, almost half, <coughs> I'm fine, is covered in tender and delicious green, bright green java moss. And now you guys are saying to yourself, but oh Mike, I can't get java moss to grow out. What the crap in my tank? Well, I don't know what to tell you. It grows like a weed in my tank. Um, I use cheap LED lighting. I don't use fertilizers. I change water and I overfeed and that's it. And I have great java moss. In all my tanks, pretty much, I have great java moss. Now, a couple things about the tank. Uh, as you can see, I do like the 20 high. That's my preferred method. It's my preferred tank. Um, and java moss. That's what I prefer to use for the guppy style. You can use guppy grass if it's available to you. You can use other mosses, but I find java moss works best for me. Uh, then I use a sponge or a box filter. I, sometimes I use both. Love the sponge filter. They do a great job of uh, uh, biological filtration. And then sometimes I add a box filter for mechanical filtration because sponge filters aren't great at mechanical. But the sponge filter allows a place for the guppy to go to a buffet anytime they want. All you can eat, no charge. They eat all the little microorganisms off it. They uh, can eat anytime they want, when they're hungry, when it's dark, when they feel safe. The trick to community breeding is giving a place the guppy, giving a place the guppy fry can hide, and that's what the java moss is. Also, they can eat off the uh, microfilm on the java moss, in the java moss, around the java moss, and they have a food source there as well. Now the other thing uh, you need to do, obviously, is feed the adults. So what I do typically is I'll feed all the tanks regular flake food and I'll crumble it up like I do. And then I come back with fry food and I feed it in a different spot. And hopefully the fry aren't already up top trying to compete with the parents to eat. But if they are, they are. And uh, usually they're fine. As long as you give them a place to uh, hide, they will grow. Now, uh, all my tanks are like this. The setup is simple. Like I said, you have I use a 20 high. 
plenty of places for the guppies to hide. You can use java moss, you can use um, guppy grass, you can use other mosses, you can use anacaris. I know a couple of guppy breeders that use anacaris. Um, I, like I said, I find the java moss, java moss works best. You need a sponge filter or a box filter. Try to stay away from hang on backs because that'll suck up the tender and delicious fry. And that's that. Now, even when you community breed, you still have to cull guppies. If you're going for an all blue line and you get a guppy with a little red, you gotta get him out of there. He'll degrade the line, even if he's community bred or if he's bred in a breeder box. So you gotta cull him, you gotta put him in your mutt tank, you gotta feed him to your flower horn, whatever you do, to keep your line pure, you gotta get rid of that guppy. All right, fishy folks, that does it for how to best use a breeder box. I don't use them, I don't think you should use them, I don't think you should waste your money. If you're gonna spend $20 on a breeder box, buy a poop ton of java moss or guppy grass and let it grow and then you double what you have and triple what you have over a couple months and you can do that much more breeding. So again, just to simplify this, I like to use a 20 high, Plenty of places for guppies to hide, guppy grass, java moss, anacaris, whatever it is. A sponge filter, maybe a box filter, maybe both. Good quality food and that's it. Let the guppies do their thing and feel safe in their tanks. All right guys, thanks for, uh, for watching. Check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com. I am shipping even though we are on lockdown. Have a great day. I don't know, folks. <clears throat> I'm trying to make this video for an hour. Got all the way done, and I hated it. It'll probably be a hit because I hate it. The last video I really hated was is my number one video, uh, how to breed guppies. But yeah. Anyway, here we go, folks. <clears throat> Hiya, fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Fishy folks, and happy Thursday, Thursday to you. Welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. That was dumb too. All right, fishy folks, welcome back. Do me a favor, if you haven't done so already, if you would consider hitting that subscribe button, that would really mean a lot to me. Uh, I really appreciate all of my 27-ish thousand subscribers um, but you know I have goals who cares you don't care about my goals that's dumb so what happens is uh, I don't separate the males I don't separate the females that's dumb hi fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's fish room today's video how to use a breeder blah that's box breeder box mush mouth <clears throat> but I do want to go over what I think is the best method for using a breeder box so I have this marina uh, that's the wrong way yeah it's this way it's this way welcome back fishy folks today's video as I said how to use a breeder box specifically this marina hang on breeder box uh, a couple other youtubers have done reviews of this but I want to go over about using a breeder box no this is dumb because that's not what I want to do leave a I do get questions why don't I use a breeder box and you know I just want to go over what I think the best method for using a breeder box the best method for using the best method how to use I don't know what I want to do because I'm a dumbass it's not Corona, I'm fine. The trick in common in, uh, because as you know, most live bearers will eat their children. Because as I said, they are tender and delicious. Ask me how I know, go ahead, ask me. I wanna go over what the best, the best way to use this filter when you're breeding guppies. And let me show you. That's right, folks. Throw the damn breeder box away. Guys, this is a dumb video. 
it's not even long enough. I don't know my timeline. I just, I don't know. It's got to be 10 minutes. So, I did this in my last Michael's Eats video. By the way, check out my, my cooking channel. I appreciate it. But it's just like me talking and being frustrated about something. And, and this YouTube thing, like, it's frustrating. Because I got to make videos, two a week. And I, I have over 600 videos. I don't know what else to make. I don't, I don't know. All right, I'm done complaining. Uh, before I go ahead and do that, if you could do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't done so already, uh, also that notification bell. See, that's the, the wrong order. 